hello welcome back to my channel in this video we'll be making zobo drink a very healthy zobo drink without sugar no additive no sugar no flavor this is pure natural and it is very very healthy first thing i'm going to do is to get my dates prepare it i'll wash it and then i'll soak it and leave overnight I'll get my zobo in here so that I'll wash it and then cook it clean. Zobo drink is also known as hibiscus tea or sorrel drink. So I'm going to wash this thoroughly. Next, I'm going to wash one cinnamon stick and also cloves. So when it has to um, do it, clove and ginger for Zobo drink, you add according to how you want it, your clove and ginger. If you want something hot, something that is spicy, you want to add much of your clove and ginger. If you want something that is not too hot, then you just minimize it or you don't even add it at all. But I oh, was super drink without clove. Now I have to wash my tamarind. So I also wash my ginger and then peel and slice. So in here now I have everything I'll be cooking: tamarind, um, cinnamon, ginger, clove, and my hibiscus, my zobo leaf. I'll pour enough water if for me to bring on a video with measurements for those of you who want measurements for this then then let me know in the comment section I will I'm going to bring up a video like that okay so right now I'm going to blend banana and cucumber and my dates so the water I soaked the dates in is what I'll be using to blend all of these banana cucumber and dates blending together we'll use it we'll add it to our zupo now when it comes to zupo drink you have to check the color while you add your water or even if you added little water and then you cooked you can still add more water just monitor and check the color as you add the water but then if you still want me to come up with a video where i'll have to give exact measurement for this thing zobo especially for those of you that want to do it as business then drop a comment for me in the comment section i'll bring up a video like that so this is my zobo cooking i 
after cooking this is what i have looking at this you know that if this is what you're doing for commercial purpose you know that this zubo is too dark this zubo is too thick normally it is called a rich zubo because of the color right so for people who want to do business you may need to add more water to this just so that you have your profit more profit so this is what to discuss maybe in my next or subsequent videos if i have to bring a video where i'll bring exact measurements for you guys now if you're doing business okay you can still use this leaf now that is cooked if you're doing business if you want me to uh, make a video like that drop a comment for me i'll tell you how you can still use zobo leaf that you've cooked to make another zobo and still have a very good result let me know in the comment section if you need a video like that okay guys i'm going to add more water to this and i will strain again okay Right now, I'm going to add my smoothie, banana, cucumber, and dates. I'm adding them in here. For people who don't want to get fat or maybe you're a plus size person and you're looking for a drink that is going to reduce you a little bit or help you lose weight a little bit you can be taking something like this every week trust me you will reduce <laughs> you will lose some good pounds okay so i just strained this i added my puree while this drink was warm not too hot and not cold while it was warm so now this is what i have i'm going to strain this again okay and then i had to refrigerate it now i kept this in the fridge until it became totally cool at this point my zobo is cool totally cool so i'm going to add honey now honey to taste so as you add, you taste it. As you add, you taste it. If you want something sweet, you add until you get something sweet. If you want something that is not too sweet, just add and taste. Look at the color of this zobo. This zobo is very rich, very, very rich. It is medicinal, it is healthy. If you want to sell something like this, if you're doing it for commercial purposes, you guys know that you hardly see a zobo that is like this, that is this color. So a lot of persons will add more water to it. But this particular zobo is not for commercial purpose, so I will not add any water to it again. I'll just keep adding the honey until I get the kind of taste that I want. After that, I'll go ahead and bottle this. And that is just it. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. And like this video, I'm going to see you in my next video.